Hey yo, what's poppin', man? We outside. <laughs> Hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. I'm wild. We finna do a reaction. Hit everything up there in that corner. If you wanna check out more content from me. Today, we got a man who was born without his legs, I believe. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But we're about to check him out, man. Let's get it. I study the best guys in the world, and I compete against the best guys in the world. And now I'm gonna beat the best guys in the world. And that's just how I see it. I posted a video on my wow. Instagram and I was running real fast. Like I did about 20, 20, 25 yards in only like three, four seconds. And they were just like, wow. And they were like, we think you could set a record. And I was like, sure, if you want, to, want me to try it. That is crazy, man. I Guinness World Records that. is there. Everybody's there. Former Olympians, former world record holders are all there supporting me, hyping me up, um, getting me going. And then I just took off, man. Wow, he is moving though. And the crazy thing was, my first one well, it was actually faster than my second one. I was moving so fast that I slid into it and ducked under the sensor. So I had to go do it again. <laughs> I was expecting, I was like, y'all don't understand. Like, I'm going to be under five seconds, maybe even under four. And I called it. First thing I said, the second I was done, I looked at all of I said, I told you. That's crazy. I, said, I told bro. you exactly what I was about to do, and I just did it. To be a Guinness World Record title holder, I'm number one. You know, there's nobody faster than me right now. I'm the fastest man on their hands in the world. But at the same time, it also means that my family's winning, my town's winning, and my support group's winning because without them, I wouldn't be here doing this for you guys. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, that's interesting, bro. It's like, how does So I was born with cholera regression like, syndrome. It's a wow. very rare disease. I always work with what I got because I don't really have any of the cards that are dealt to me. Wow. A lot of people say foster mother. I'm not a big fan of that because she is my mother. The foster care system reached out to my mom, said that we exhausted all our options and that uh, could you take in this, take in this boy? And then oh, man, man about seven months later, Bro, it's Pushing, the conversation came up about me being adopted and a week after that I was just like yeah this is it this is what I want and five years later and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me it's crazy how built he is it's like, I was just oh, like you know what I'm not going to be weak so anymore and I just put in the work as much as I could every day I was going to two or three wrestling practices a day for seven days a week and by the time my senior year of high school came around I became one of the best guys in the state wow. and soon after that I became one of the best guys in the country Whew. I'm really willing Jeez. Put it all in the line too. to achieve my top goal of being the best wrestler, being the best track athlete. It's usually not the first choice for most people, giving it's the world's most dangerous and oldest sport. And I just thought it looked fun. Everybody wow. just accepted me in as one of them. They didn't look at me as I was different. They went hard against me just like I wanted them to. And the wrestling world really is like a close family worldwide. And that's what I loved about it. I pushed myself to my absolute wow. limit. Because by the time I am an Olympian and I'm a world champion wrestler, I'm going to be shattering glass ceiling That's repeatedly. crazy. My future, I see myself being a multiple-time Olympic champion. And I just see myself being that all-around champ. I want to win more medals than Michael Phelps, dude. Wow. I want I want to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. Because why not? I know people that have disabilities, that have disabilities the same as mine that have disabilities that are more severe than mine. And I see them becoming high level athletes every day. It's all about how much heart you got and how much work you're willing to put in. I, that, I'll tell that Bro, to any kid with disabilities. I'll tell that to a kid that doesn't have a disability. My message stays the same. Yeah, that's real, that's real uh, dedication right there, man. You can learn something kinda, this guy. Just whatever rolls off the tongue, rolls off the tongue. Wow. That upper body strength is amazing, I bet. That's crazy. What you guys think about that, man? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Go check that. I'm about to put the original video in the link down below. I got to learn more about him. I need to go find him on Instagram, bro. That's that's interesting, bro. That's super interesting. I'm not going to lie. The bro is just built. He's built. He'll slap the shit out of you if you disrespect him. Woo. I was a walk, man. I mean, I just reacted to Mount Main Peace.